Hi, it's Zobo1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous. And today I thought I'd just do a rundown of what the Dark Marauders have been getting up to and a bit of an update on the group. Because, you know, with the game, the situation of the game on console, you know, are we still active? Are we still, you know, having people play? Is it still, you know, a thing? And I can report happily that the Dark Marauders are still a thing. We're still plugging away, doing piracy, playing, doing what we like to do. Uh, this is me and Siren doing conflict zones because the Dark Rulers, while I was away, Polo got a hankering to get our home system back. Don't know why. Uh, considering we do PPI attacks, it's likely that someone's going to come and attack our BGS when we get it back. Um, but, you know, he's right. It could create some interest. It could create something. And it gives us something to do. Um, so, you know, there is that element to it. Uh, while I was doing it, I had some interesting things happen. I landed on Star's carrier and was completely unable to rearm. Uh, it was a re restock. I could refuel and repair, but not restock. Don't know why, because Orc could, I couldn't. So um, that led to some discussions. Maybe Star's carrier is, you know, not immune to my toxicity and it just didn't want to let me restock. You know, I don't know. Uh, but I ended up simping the ammo on the deck. Um, and then choosing to uh, go to a different carrier the next time I needed to rearm. Because uh, I was using the garbage truck of doom, which is my type 10. Because uh, at this point, my ships were still on the way back in Scooby's carrier. And uh, I only had the few ships that I left behind in the bubble. And my type 10, it's okay at clearing uh, conflict zones. It's not a, a sensible choice. But it can, um, can clear a conflict zone and can quite happily scoop up all the remains, which is great. Now, I pointed out to uh, Dark Owl that you can tell he's a pyra because he set his carrier's tariffs a little bit on the high side for me. Um, so I thought I'd leave you a funny voice clip of the guys discussing it as I point out that you can tell Owl is a pirate by the fact he's charging a 50% markup on the fuel costs. I mean, seriously, what a ripoff. I have zero tariffs on my carrier. All of my tariffs are set to zero. I don't worry, just, you know, give it away at cost. It doesn't make any difference to me. I'm not looking to make money out of my carrier, but you know, you can tell when you're buying from a pirate carrier when they've jacked the prices up. Um, I think the TOC carriers have a few of the uh, heavily jacked up on prices but that doesn't surprise me when it's TFC um yeah so I think I'll leave you with that voice clip then we're going to go into a little ad break and then uh I'm going to update you on what Polo and Orc have been up to while I've been away which is quite funny as well Fifty, fifty percent. Yeah. I think mine's at like ten or something. Yeah, I'm not that far behind. Put it all down the zone. Mine's at ten percent. I think. You got, you, got, you, you, you got to join the fuel, you got to join the fuel price, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to take a pause and take a quick look at what you guys sponsor. With your guys' views, you help out Big Red Rooster Cockerel Rescue, helping out cocks of all sizes, all shapes, and for the love of the cock, keep watching so we can raise money for this lovely little animal rescue and save birds my, my little co-pilot here. So anyway, on to Polo. Uh, while we were all away, Polo did keep the flag of Dark Marauders piracy flying. Him and English Nasty One continued to pirate as often as they could. Uh, but I've been told the piracy was, while we were away was a bit poo. Um, quite literally, as you'll see from this clip. And um, yeah, the guys have been active. Um, you know, I've played with Big Aussie Skull. I've, you know, English Nasty One's been on. We've got Owl, Star, Syrian, Orc, Scooby, 
you know, there's been a decent amount of us on and about. I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, Panda. Panda's been really active and super violent lately. Um, so, you know, there's been a decent amount of us on playing the game, which is great. Uh, and long may it continue. Uh, we will try and cause as much trouble as possible and have as much fun as possible and interact with as many players as possible. And we all do love being in the DMPS because it is just our club that we hang out in, have fun, take the mick out of each other. And it bleeds over into other games, as you can see from this wonderful piece of artwork from the Pirate Hawk um, in Forza. And uh, yeah, <laughs> you can take the boy out of uh, Elite Dangerous, but you can't take the DMPS out of the boy. And um, yeah, he's even tried to fly in space in um, Marcus Flight Simulator as well. Jeez. But at heart, Orc is still a marauder, and he's been doing his best to pirate. As you've seen from his video up at the CG, he's been busy pirating people, uh, keeping the marauder flag flying, even though it does take a while to drop out of, uh, <laughs> of uh, Super Cruise into normal space. And we are expecting to be busy. Uh, getting our home systems back is kind of like a, you know, hello again, and a lot of people are going to be taking an interest in that. Um, I don't know if we're going to get people coming down and trying to take our home system back off us, but considering it'll only go to our neighbours, the LSOP guys, who actually like us having an anarchy system on their doorstep so they can use the facilities that the anarchy system offers them, is not really a big bother because they're a huge BGS group and yeah, nobody would want to go up against them head to head, trust me. They're a monster in BGS. And even former members of IED have advised people that going after our BGS may cause us to come after yours. And uh, yeah, some people might not want that. But anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one. That's what we've all been up to lately. Look, it was they're flawless. robbing all of the commanders.